right, this is lesson 29, and we are doing compound complementary numbers with respect to the number 10 and 5 in the tens column. Now, I am assuming, if you're watching this, that you survived lesson 28 and that the compound complementary numbers didn't just totally overwhelm your brain and it just gave up and stopped working. And I'm guessing that if you're watching this, you said, yeah, I can handle that. I want some more. Bring it on. I want to learn this abacus thing, and I am going to do this whether you like it or not. So throw it at me. I can handle it. So I, I, I've got no other choice. All we, all we can do is just do another round. Let's do less than 29. Well, all right, here we go. Let's start with the first one. Let's do 15 plus 26 then. 15 plus 26. All right, put the number 15 on there. Bang! There's the number 15. And we are going to add to that the number 26. Now, just like we did before, you know where to start. We start on the left-hand side. Not the right-hand side, the left-hand side. And the first number that we work with is the number 2 in 26. So we need to add 2 in the tens column. Well, that's a piece of cake. No tricky stuff here, nothing fancy. We just go bang. We add 2 there. We move over to the ones column, and we need to add 6 there. And that's where we crack our knuckles and say, all right, let's go. Let's do this. All right. Not enough beads. We know we need to use complementary numbers. Well, the complement to the number 6 is the number 4, but we got a 5 involved. So, 4 with respect to 5 is 1. So, slide that out of the way, add a 1, and then add one more, or carry over a 1 to the next column. There it is. 15 plus 26 is 41. Hmm, that didn't seem so bad. 15 plus 26, 2, well, down there, there Boom, 41. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 58 plus 16. A 5 and an 8 plus 16. All right, so once again, we start on the left-hand side over here, and we just need to add a 1 here. That's the 1 in the si of the 16, and we start with that. Now we need to add a 6 over here. Hmm, not, a, uh, not enough beads, so all right, we can handle that. Same sequence as last time. Get the 5 out of the way. Add 1 and carry 1 over into the next column. 58 plus 16 is a 7 and a 4. 74. All right. I know you, you probably you might be sweating a little bit or something, a little bit beat of sweat on your eyebrow, or, or maybe not. But let's do another one. 76 plus 17, a 7, bang, and a 6. 76 plus 17. All right, we start over here. We slide one up. That's the 1 in the 17. And we come over here to the 7 to add 7 in the 1's column. Not enough beads. The complement to the number 7 is 3. And with respect to 5, that means we're going to go bang, bang, bang. See that sequence? We're doing the same thing every time. And it's going to get easier, I promise. 76 plus 17 is a 9 and a 3. 76 plus 17 is 93. Let's move on to one just a little bit harder. See if you can handle it. We're going to do a carryover into the hundreds column. Let's see how that goes. Put the number 85 on your abacus. And 85. And we are going to add to that the number 28. And we start over here on the left-hand side, just like we always do. And we go here. Oh. This guy's throwing a curveball at me. You're saying, I, oh, i got to think back a little bit. How do I do that? Hmm. How do I add 2 in this column? Oh, yeah. 
8 and 2 are complementary numbers. So that means I just get rid of this 8 and add 1 in the next column over, or I carry 1 into the next column over. So that, made, that put a 1 here and a 0 here. Hmm, that's done. All right, that means I do an 8 in the 1's column. And I look at that and say, huh. Yeah, this is the stuff we're doing. All right, okay. So the, the complement to the number 8 is 2. All right, I can handle that complement. Can't take 2 away. There's a 5 involved, so I, I think 2, the complement of 2 with respect to 5 is 3. So I add 3, take away that 5, and add carry 1 over into the next column, or add 1 here. And there's our answer. 85 plus 28 is a 1, a 1, and a 3, 113. 85 plus 28 is 113. All right. Well, is it too bad? Let's do another. You're just telling me. Okay. All right. You really want to do this. Let's do another. All right. 55 plus 26. There is the number 55, and we are going to add to that the number 26. All right, the first column, column on the left, is a piece of cake. We just add 2. There's the 2 of 26. Now we need to add 6 in this column. Oh, you're looking at me saying, that's a piece of cake. I've done that like 10 times already. I can do that. All right, so all i got to do is that, that, and that. Oops. Hmm. All right, that, that wasn't too bad. Five out of the way, four, one, and then one, and oh, and there's my answer. 81, a uh, eight and a one. 55 plus 26 is 81. All right, that was so easy. Let's just do, let's do another one, see how it goes. All right. Let's see if you can throw another curveball at me. That's what you're saying. Like, there's nothing. You're, you're probably saying at this point, there's nothing I can throw at you that you can't do. Well, all right, try this one. 27 plus 86. So put the number... 27 on your abacus. And we're going to add to that the number 86. Hmm, this looks familiar. Well, how do I add? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can handle that. That's not a problem. See, because I know that the complement to the number 2 is 8. So all I go, I just, all I have to do is just get rid of that 2 and add 1 there. See? That's no problem handle that. And I just move right on over here. It's 6. And I know when I see the number 6, when there's a 5 involved, I really just go like this. Boom, boom. Ooh. I got to add one here. Oh, there. Yeah, there it is. 27 plus 86 is a 1, a 1, and a 3. 113. Huh. All right. That wasn't too bad. It looks familiar to another... Similar to another problem that we did. All right, let's do one more. Then I'll see if I can throw a curveball at you. Let's do 38 plus 96. A 3 and an 8. 38 plus 96. All right, here we are in the tens column. We need to add a 9 here. Huh. All right. Well, I'm not sure what... Oh, oh yeah. i got to think back a little bit. I'm adding... In this column, I need to subtract the complement and add one or carry one over to the next column over. Do we need... Boom. Huh. All right. I remember doing that. That's okay. I can handle that. It made me stress a little, but I can handle that. All right. So, and then we need to add six in the ones column. Hmm. Five involved, okay, that means I'm going to be doing this. Bang, bang, bang. All right, I did it. 38 plus 96 is 134. 134. Boy, I can handle that. If you can do that one, you can do any of these. All right, okay, just one... One more, and then, yeah, okay, 77 plus 66. Bang, bang. There we go. 
77 plus 66. All right, here we go. We need to add a 6 in the tens column. I know this sequence. I've done it a few times. A 6 means I go like this. Bang, bang, bang. And then I'm going to add a 6 here. All right, I know that what a 6 does. It, it does something like this. Bang, bang, bang. Huh. All right, so 77 plus 66 is 100. 43. A 1, a 4, and a 3 is 143. All right. One more, and then we'll be done with this lesson. Okay. 36 plus 25. 36 plus 25. And I come right here. Oh, what do I do? Oh, I need, I, uh, ooh, I need to add a 2 here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought he thought he could throw a curveball at me. That's not a problem. Look at okay, three and two are compliments. I know that. All right. Okay. So I go like this. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. He thought he could throw a curveball at me, but I did that. That's right. And a five over here. Hmm. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. This one's a little different. There it is. 36 plus 25 is 61. So that one actually didn't use the compound complementary numbers. Just wanted to see if you could still do that. All right. I can, I can feel it. These are starting to settle into your brain, and, you, and you're feeling like you can get this. So let's just go print off that worksheet and work through them. I, I, I don't think you're all the way there yet, but you're getting close. You're, you're getting this, and your brain is starting to wrap itself around this and becoming comfortable with the abacus way of thinking, and you're getting there. All right, so let's just... It, there's not an easy way around it. You just have to get used to doing it. Just do it over and over, and then maybe... Maybe you might even want to take a break for a couple of days or maybe even a week, and then come back and see if you can do it again. Well, that's how... That's one of the best ways to do it, is just to kind of take, uh, it works for me. Sometimes I take a break and just try and do something else for a while, and then I come back to it, see if I can still do it. And you may want to come back to this video and watch it again and see how it goes and sit, refresh your brain on how to do this. All right, so we'll see you in lesson number 30.